All right, let's get into some of the modifications here. Uh, I know a lot of people have different tastes of what they want, so um, I'm just going to give a start of a few that I started. Um, it's actually a nice day here, so um, I can do a couple of things outside, and then uh, the other ones I'll have to put on later on. Um, so, like I say one of the, besides the inside ones, the uh, kind of the outdoor ones. Um, one of the ones I just did, I just finished up was doing the red line um, hood, you know, um, struts. Um, these were relatively, I would say, maybe scale of one to 10, maybe a two, one, one and a half, two in difficulty. Um, you just need a 13 millimeter socket. Um, they, they said to use a deep and a, a regular size well socket. Um, you basically put it in uh, two holes from the bottom, one, two, and this third kind of slips right in use the deep well for this one and down below you put the other one right where this mount is in here I can get you to and right in there so you get that one in there um, and it mounts right into that same thing 13 millimeter um, and it's a uh, you know the regular size not the deep well um, and you don't have to say necessarily measure anything uh, the hoods you know say on there just perfectly um, you just have to when you, ch you have to charge the strut so the strut comes out you know one length you just have to pull down you know, a little a little pressure on it that's like the one and a half uh, difficulty is because you have to push down just a little bit to snap it into place you snap it into the first one here right there and that's the screw right there you just use the same screw it takes a, like it's a little long of a thread so it takes a little longer to, to unscrew it but you know so it works pretty well and I said then snap this on pull it down till it snaps into there and then you're all set I think this is like probably well my one of my top uh, beginning uh, mods to do make it easier to like open your you know your hood and you want access to, um, you know, there you go, like just like that. Um, another mod that I did right away, which was easy to throw them on there, is the shackles. Um, you know, this time right on. Some people get the uh, the colored shackles for it. Um, I just went with the the colored shackles, not the mount. Um, you know, I didn't want to change that out, so it just made it easier. Kind of kind of you know goes nice the color isn't perfect but it kind of matches when you're moving um and let's see what are they, the uh tire um being from new england and massachusetts um one of the first things i got too was a tire cover um and this was you know relatively easy they did give me a uh, a plastic bag to go uh, over they say use the plastic bag it makes it easier to put the the, the leather over it and it def definitely did I think it has just a little like, extra protection to it um, since I have the wild track and I have the, um, the 360 view um, it has the, the monitor the you know rear view monitor there so you do have to get one with the with the hole in it and if you can kind of see the plastics behind it just kind of covers it but doesn't hinder the um, the view at all with the you know with the camera um, you know I think the next thing I'm working on going to be is the um the door um that's the one thing i want to take some time on it's going to take a while i got the the rc door um we call it the to boost up the you know the hinges and stuff like that to make it a little you know a little stronger i think that's you know one of the top ones that you do right away but like i said with the weather you know best way you get you know you do that um hopefully you know and the trim rings i'm going to try to get the color match the trim rings i actually have a local um you know place that's going to do them powder coat them um i just had to get the matching paint so i got some swatch swatches from that to match the paint and uh, get those done um and a couple of the inside ones that were easy to do um, i did change out the netting here for this this part you know that was like an easy you know say one um i was a little surprised that the screws um were like they're not rusted but they're a little oxidized um but you know they do go with that i didn't know if i should put some loctite on or something like that or just you know but you know did that um 
and I did get the um, little side mount here uh, for a little carrier so people could put passengers could put their phone in instead of trying to put the phone into the charger there um, if you don't have the charger then I guess you can have two phones in there but since I you know, said I have the charger so one phone goes in there passenger phones can go in there and um, I got a uh, you know rear and forward cam so I still have to figure out how to power that I don't know if I'm trying to get to the, you know somewhere in the power in the mount in the in the thing there but um, I'm just running it right now um, actually has a nice little indent for the power lines to go right since it's a um, you know a cigarette lighter uh, mount there it's like it's the only one up front there um, I did change a little bit of the coloring it's kind of hard to get I mean the coloring exact to the cyber orange um, I do like the copper color there with that um, you know it does you know kind of pop a little bit and another one the first one that I got was the um, the you know the corded rope um, arms luckily I have like two pairs so I can I'm actually put a put them in the back even though I don't have the four door you can actually mount them in the back um, or you can put them on the back of the seat so when the per passengers in the back they can actually grab onto that too um, so that's you know one of the next ones that you know easy ones to put in you just takes a minute or two these are all as I said just easy ones they can do inside um, or you know on a nice day quickly you don't have to worry about it um, and I do have I have the mud flaps I have the uh, Mabit Mabit um, mud flaps um, I just haven't put them on yet I think that's gonna be like a maybe an hour install or something or so for the for the whole front and back um, I'll have to see you know a little bit of mounting but um, I don't yeah you know, it's getting a little dark now so I'm gonna save those for another day uh, but I should get them done soon um, when I, I actually ordered one uh, it didn't come with the sidestep and this one does um, I'm actually hopefully planning to, to get um, power steps um, I was trying to get the R ARB um, the ARB um, power steps but <clears throat> first I thought they didn't have the right size for two-door but I guess they do you just have to order it correctly if you look it up uh, there's a 55 inch length and I think it's like a 60 something for the four-door so you just have to get the right size to get them and it's just for me <coughs> excuse me um, the hard part is actually finding somebody to install it um, coming from South Shore uh, Boston area um, there was a place that was uh, Yankee custom that did mine for a Hummer h2 before but I guess they don't do them anymore because I guess they, they said the the salt uh, contaminant around here kind of gets the uh, the motors uh, going quickly um, you know to, to fail so they don't guarantee it anymore so <clears throat> I'm actually trying to look to find somebody to install those um, and to get those done but the you know the, the support for the tire you know should be coming soon um, get that done and I said I'm not sure if I'm debating right now whether to do <coughs> excuse me I have the um, I have the rack the IAG rack that comes down um, that actually you know so they say it's uh, rated some people said rated 150 pounds um, but at least like 60 or 80 pounds is official so that's good for me but it actually has the mole panel on the back so you know it can attach you know some <coughs> first aid kits and you know uh, rope for over sand permit and stuff like that so we we'll get that done and uh, you know so there's a couple of couple of quick ones um like i said everybody's different so but my first ones would be <coughs> a couple of the indoor ones the you know the um and definitely the uh, the hood mounts uh, hood struts <coughs> and the um and the, uh, the shackles if there's done you know as you can then i said come the spring and summer I'll definitely have a couple more um coming up so yeah that's it um like i said you know if it's hopefully useful to you um this, like i said the struts are easy and uh you know, I'll add a couple on and see what your 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 ideas are.